this is not the order your textbook does it, but I want you to start out with this so that um, quantum mechanics is hard. It, um, the full mathematical treatment over it is difficult. It's all about solving differential equations, and I will tell you that this is the only case where we are actually going to solve differential equations. The other two, uh, the simple harmonic oscillator and the, the Coulomb potential, I'm just going to give you the solutions. I'm not actually going to solve the, those differential equations because they're too difficult. <laughs> um, so there, the quantum mechanics, wave mechanics, is mathematically difficult. It's not, it's no cakewalk. It, it, it's an upper division content to actually treat them uh, with a uh, full on. And uh, it's also conceptually difficult. We are going to deal with maybe some aspects of it today, but um, interpretation of quantum mechanics is an active area of research. There's a mainstream interpretation called the Copenhagen interpretation, and that's what we are required to teach you in class by law, even whether we believe it or not. Um, but <laughs> reasonable physicists disagree on what is the true quantum mechanical picture. So in special relativity, I told you there are no paradoxes in special relativity, only misunderstandings. I will not say that with the quantum mechanics because um, um, there are, you know, retired professors who won't be convinced that any one interpretation um, explains everything that they think are weird about quantum mechanics. So quantum mechanics is conceptually difficult. Um, so with all those difficulties heading our way, I wanted to give you something that's a firm, kind of easy to grasp, and nothing here is wrong. Everything here is correct. Maybe it's a bit of a simplified picture, but everything here is correct. 